Hi, this is Lance with Roush Clean Tech. Today we have a bus up in the air and we're going to walk you through the propane tank components. It all starts as fuel comes in from the fill valve in the fuel door. This will come in through a 5 micron fill filter that's a one-way filter going into the tank. We've removed a protection plate so that you can get a better view of the filter. This filter is also directional. It'll have an arrow to show the direction of flow into the tank. Once the fuel's inside the tank, it's picked up by the fuel pumps sitting in the back left corner of the fuel tank. These sit inside a baffled area that keeps liquid by the pumps. These dual fuel pumps will pump up and through a supply valve that's underneath this protective panel. Under the panel, we'll see a supply valve. This sends fuel up to the engine and it has three different shutoffs. It has an electronic shutoff that is linked to the starting the vehicle and the key start. Um, this will automatically open when you start the vehicle and close once you key the vehicle off or if the engine stalls. There's also a manual shutoff valve that's used for servicing the vehicle. You'd close the manual shutoff to depressurize the line to do service on the fuel system. And the third shutoff is actually on the inside of the tank where we have an excess flow check valve. This will shut off the flow of fuel if there's any large leak where fuel is rushing out of the tank too quickly. There will be a spring and check ball that will seal off to stop that flow of fuel. The supply valve will send fuel up to a supply line filter located right at the front of the tank. The supply line filter is a small one micron filter that filters the fuel a third time, first up at the fill, then at the fuel pump sock, and then up to the engine. That will go up to the engine kit and then return in through a return valve right next to the supply valve. This is a one-way check valve into the tank that will allow fuel to enter the tank but not exit. The next component is the bleeder valve. This is located on the bottom side of the tank, but has a tube that goes up to the 80% mark. This valve is connected to the remote bleeder valve line up in the fuel door. This can be used to read tank pressure, as well as perform an overfill prevention device test. The overfill prevention device, or fill valve, is located up on the top side of the tank and accessible by an access panel in the middle of the floor. Also mounted next to it is the sending unit. The last component is the excess pressure relief valve and would vent pressure away from the tank if it ever becomes extremely hot over 146 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it hits that temperature, which would create a 312 PSI inside the tank, it will vent a small controlled amount of propane from the top of the tank through the excess pressure relief valve hose and downward and street side away from the vehicle. So all of those propane fuel tank components are mounted to an ASME rated fuel tank. This is a dual manifolded tank that's two cylinders that are welded together with pass-throughs, so it functions as one fuel tank. It comes in a few different sizes to meet your different range needs for the bus. And it's also very well protected inside of the chassis. Not only is the tank an eighth inch thick steel, but it's protected on the sides by these large crash support barriers and meet the most stringent crash test standards. We're in the engine bay of our propane powered Vision school bus. Here we can see from the tank, the fuel will come up and go through a fuel rail pressure control module, or FRPCM, mounted at the top of the intake manifold. The fuel will go into the FRPCM, go through a supply valve, and feed the back of the two fuel rails. Then it'll flow forward to the front of the two fuel rails and Y back together, going back into the FRPCM and then back down to the tank. The fuel rails themselves mount right where the Ford OEM gasoline rails would mount. Each rail has 10 injectors, and the left rail has a pressure temperature sensor that reads the pressure and temperature of the fuel rail so that we can run perfect air fuel ratios at any temperature. Each injector is individually serviceable with a snap ring and top mount. So you can remove the snap ring and remove each injector individually. The injectors have a spacer tube that connects the fuel rail down into the intake manifold uh, that works as a heat insulator between the rail and the engine. Over on the right side of the engine bay, we can see the SRM, or Smart Relay Module. This works as a gateway to connect the Ford PCM, mounted up on the firewall, to all of our fuel system components. So this will help as a gateway between our fuel system, the cluster, and the PCM, as well as perform several functions for the propane fuel system.